everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install Voxel Minimap in Minecraft 1.13. This is the official version of Voxel Minimap. It uses the Rift mod loader to make it happen and uh, overall it's nice to finally see a Minimap mod update to 1.13. But before we get on into it, be sure to check out Apex Minecraft hosting for an incredible Minecraft server. Whether you're running mods on it, wanting to play vanilla Minecraft with your friends, or looking to start a server, with paper or bucket and run plugins on it. You can do that all at Apex Minecraft Hosting. They have one click installation of the best mod packs out there. Literally over 20 mod packs over there with one click install. So again, check them out at the first link down below. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex modded. That is the first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get on into installing Voxel Minimap. So the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below and it will take you here. This is the Voxel Minimap download page where you want to click on file here. And then we want to make sure that we're downloading the version for 1.13. If we come over here, we can see that it is for game version 1.13. So click on the little gray download button there, and it will download in the bottom left. You will need to keep this file, but as long as it says voxel map in it, it's 100% safe, and this one is. This one's actually been downloaded almost 6,000 times. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and download the Rift mod loader. As I said, Rift is actually needed for Voxel Minimap. Think of it like Light Loader or Forge, right? Light Loader and Forge are mod loaders, so is Rift, except this one is just for 1.13. Once we're here, all we want to do is click on File on Rift again. Make sure that we are downloading the 1.13 version of Rift. As we can see, we are. Right there it is. So click on the little gray download button there, and it will download in the bottom left. Same with this file. This has been downloaded 43,000 times, but we do want to make sure it does say Rift in the title down there. It does, and we can keep the file. Pretty simple stuff. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser here. We should have two things on our desktop. One being a Rift and one being Voxel Minimap. So there's Voxel Minimap, there is Rift. And if these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Just hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. It'll open up this, type in Downloads, and then hit Enter. If you don't know what your Windows key is, basically just click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, put them in the bottom left of your screen, and then type in Downloads. And there's your Downloads folder. Click on that, and they'll be in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we need to start off with Rift. Now, we should be able to just right-click on this, and then go to Open With here. And then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. And then you should be able to click OK. And then it opens up this nice Rift install message, right? Now, if that doesn't work for you, it's an easy fix. All you need to do is go to the fourth and fifth link down below, and it will take you here, right? So this is how to install the Java JDK. You need the Java JDK for this to work, so make sure you go. Go to this tutorial. It walks you through every single step of it, and it'll get that installed. If that still doesn't work, you need to run the jar fix, right? And this is a very simple program. Click that. It will download, run it, and it will fix jar files for you. So let's say it is a WinRAR file, right? Let's say this is showing up as a WinRAR file. Run the jar fix, and it will fix that. But you also need to install the JDK just in case. So do that, and it will fix it. Then you'll be able to right-click, open with Java, Platform SE binary, and then you'll get this handy dandy Rift install successfully message. Now we can go ahead and click OK, and now we need to get a voxel map installed. This is pretty easy. Again, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. The Windows by key, by the way, is right next to uh, the Control key on the left side of your keyboard. Hit that and R at the exact same time, and it will open up Run here. In Run, you just want to type percent app data percent percent app data percent and hit enter. This will open up your roaming folder. You should then have a .minecraft folder here. Click on that, and then you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? What do I do? Is the world over? No, it's okay. It's okay. All you need to do is create one. So right click, create a new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Exact same spelling, all lowercase, all of that. And then when you have your mods folder created, go ahead and double click on it to open it. And then download where it says voxel map. See that? Rift mod voxel map. You want to drag that into your mods folder. Now we need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. I will see you guys once the Minecraft launcher is open. Here we are in the Minecraft launcher. All we need to do here is click down here on the little green arrow next to the play button. And we should have a profile titled Rift. If you don't, go ahead and click on the three dashes up here at the top. Go to launch options. And then add a new version, right? Click add new there. I'm going to title this play.breakdowncraft.com. Wait, why would I be calling it play.breakdowncraft.com? Oh yeah, that's because it's our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the universe. 1.12.2 Skyblock, 1.13 
plus survival. So if you want to use a mini map on our server, you can. I'm going to show you what you need to configure to be able to like not get banned for using a mini map. But yeah, you can test this on our server. So yeah, come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. But once you've got your name entered here, go ahead next to version and then make this the Rift release. I got to find it in here. It's somewhere in here. Give me a second. There it is right here. A release 1.13-Rift. You might have to look for it for a bit, but there it is. Click on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and change my resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing that so uh, you guys can see it. There we go. Click save. And now if we go back over to news here, we should be able to click the little green arrow. And this time we'll have a play.breakdowncraft.com right there running 1.13-rift. See that? Click that and click play. Now it's going to go ahead and open up Minecraft and install the mod and get everything basically up and running for us, right? Now I'm going to show you how to configure this mod, how to turn certain things off, how to turn certain things on, things like that. So I'll see you guys on the Minecraft main menu. Now once we're on the Minecraft main menu here. I'm just going to go ahead and jump into our server, play.breakdowncraft.com. Unfortunately, you can't use this minimap in survival just quite yet because it's not updated to 1.13.1 yet, which is what our survival is based on. Soon enough, it'll be updated and we'll be all able to play on that. But nevertheless, right now, this is on 1.13 and because of that, we have to just use it in Skyblock. So, to use it on play.breakdowncraft.com though, you need to configure some things. So if you hit M here and then jump into options and click on radar and then you want to make sure that show players is turned off and that show mobs or show hostiles here is also turned off. Then you can go ahead and click done and you want to turn off cave mode here where it says enable cave mode. Go ahead and turn that off and boom, there you go. Your mini map is now configured. Now, obviously it would be cool to use this in survival and hopefully soon it will update to 1.13.1 and you'll be able to use it in survival. But uh, 1.13.1 is a lot more stable to host a server on so that's where we host ours on. But now that we're at spawn here, it's actually kind of cool. We can hit M and we can see the entire spawn island. Go ahead and turn on fly. Fly on over here and load up more of the world. Give me a second. There we go. And now we can see the entire spawn island. Pretty freaking awesome. And this is what's great about a mini map mod. Nevertheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you get your mini map, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome mod content like this. As more mods update to 1.13, more and more mod tutorials will be coming out. And be sure to come play with us on playdopbreakdowncraft.com, the best server in the multiverse. We have an incredible Skyblock server, an incredible survival server, currently 29 players over on survival. So there you guys have it. If you have any questions about this, again, post them in the comment section down below. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.